flapper. That's my husband in the background. Okay, so on today's episode, we're gonna talk healthy food swaps. And in particular today, I'm gonna show you some of my healthy food swaps for pasta, bread, sauces, and a couple other things. So how do I look at things in terms of it being healthy? Well, honestly, there is no clean or not clean food to me. There's no good or bad. It's just some stuff is high calorie, some stuff is low calorie. Some stuff is pumped more with nutrients that are gonna keep me fuller longer and keep my energy stable. Other foods, they might make my energy dip a little bit and not make me as full. So today I'm gonna show you my swaps to keep my calories for the total day in check and to give me more room for other foods that I might want. So for example, looking at a pasta substitute, is there anything wrong with wanting a white refined pasta? Absolutely not. It just could be more calories and maybe not fill you up as much. So I'll show you my pasta swap. I'll show you my sauce swap so I can have more flavor with my meals and keep the calories in check. So to me, Healthy food swaps, all it means is keeping me in a healthy range for my total calorie intake for the day to keep me lean, to keep me energized, to keep me full, to keep my digestion regular, and that's the most important thing for me. So let me show you my swaps. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm so glad you're here for the Angie Method for a little bit of my food, my fitness, my fun, my mindset, the whole thing. If you're coming back, hey, Thanks for checking me back out. And here's what I would love for today. In the comments below, what are your healthy food swaps? So how do you make some trade-offs, some substitutions to keep your calories in check, but still give you the flavor so you don't miss any Thing with your food and your fun. So share below, I would love to see it. And if you like today's episode, if you give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna do mostly carbs and sauces today, and then on a future episode, I'll handle other healthy food swaps. But I thought we could start with bread. There is nothing wrong with wanting bread. What matters the most if you are trying to lose weight or stay at the same weight is your total calories consumed in a day. So if you can fit in carbohydrates from bread, what's wrong with that? but sometimes there's different types of breads where the calories can creep up. They might have super good ingredients in it, like this one, it has a lot of fiber, it has whole grains, it has a lot of different seeds and whatnot, but the calories can get a little high on this, and if I'm not paying attention, I could go over. So one slice of this bread, which is actually what I give the babies, and it is phenomenal, it's the brown berry oat nut, it's 120 calories per slice. And I think it's 21 grams of carbs. Again, nothing wrong with that. But if I want more bang for my buck, if I wanna keep my total calories in check, a nice little swap is going with a lighter, lower calorie bread. So they have the Healthy Life bread. I've been getting like the Sara Lee Delightful. 45 calorie bread, and two slices of this is only 90 calories. That's less than one slice of the oat nut bread, and it's only 19 grams carbs. So that gives me more room to have other calories later in the day, but not miss out on bread. So when I look at healthy, it's, hey, it's my overall intake in a day. It still has, it's still honey, it's still whole wheat, it still has a lot of good stuff in it, but there's an easy swap. Take a higher calorie bread, switch it out with a lower one. Does it taste as good? No, but it's more about keeping it in line with your nutrition goals for ultimately whatever it is that you're looking for. Okay, speaking of bread, let's move on to buns. So there are a lot of bun options out there for hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, whatever you're using it for. And this one's actually pretty calorie friendly. It's the Pepperidge Farm brand. This is the Hawaiian one. They're sesame, potato, they're all really good. And these are sliders, but they're, not, they're still like as big as my palm, so they're like a palm size, 150 calories. If you go look at other buns out there, they could get upwards of 200 calories, 300, and I mean, at the end of the day, like I don't wanna eat just all the bread, I actually wanna taste the protein or whatever's in the middle of it. So this is a great option to keep your calories in check. And then I'm also really into the healthy life, whole wheat bun, which is only 80 calories. So when I want burgers, I will choose one of these bun options, so I'm not missing out on the bun, but I'm keeping the total amount of calories pretty well managed. So that's my bread take. Now let's go chips. 
I love a good crunch. If I'm gonna have a sandwich, I want a crunch to go with it. So as you guys know, if you've watched my episodes, I am really into the Flex Popcorner brand of chips. Barbecue is by far my favorite. You can have 24 of these chips for only 90 calories and you get a decent amount of protein with it. 10 grams protein for one serving and 24 chips for 90 calories is a lot of bang for your buck plus you get that protein. I looked up what a regular serving of barbecue Lay's chips are. Clearly there was no protein in it. And for one serving of that, it was 270 calories and 27 grams carbs. This one was only 12 gram carbs. So not only was it like more than, well what, it was triple the amount of calories than this one and it didn't have as much protein, which the protein's ultimately gonna fill you up. So great healthy food swap for chips. Let's move on to pasta. So I love all things pasta. Now this one by far is like my favorite. I'm not even gonna try to say that cavatappi. I don't know, the boys like it. It's like the spiral one. One serving is 200 calories and that's 56 grams dry, which is 40 grams carbs. Now what's an easy switch you could do? Zucchini noodles, not new to anyone. If you have been doing some type of healthy eating, you know zoodles could be the way to go. I will do 400 grams, 600 grams. That's a massive amount of zucchini noodles and it's only eight grams carbs for 400 grams weight. And that's like 68 calories. And so it's gonna be way more valuable. It's gonna take me longer to digest and absorb, keeping me fuller longer. It's gonna save on a lot of calories and carbohydrates. So again, nothing wrong with the regular kind, but if you can switch for zoodles, awesome. And then I also have been digging the Barilla brand has their Protein Plus. So if you don't wanna miss out on regular pasta, I actually like to do part zoodle and part regular noodle to get the taste of it. I don't need the full serving. I just wanna have like the texture of it. And so for one serving of this, it's the same amount of carbs as the cavatappi. So I just do half the amount, which is 20 grams carbs, but then it's only 90 calories for half a serving. So you can kind of play around with it. But what I love, let me flip you over here. It's 10 grams protein. So I'm upping the protein amount with that. So that's my pasta trade-off. Let's move on to sauces. Let's start with ketchup. Who doesn't love ketchup, right? But you could make some easy swaps with Heinz, no sugar, added ketchup, or my favorite is G Hughes ketchup. It is so good. Both of them though are super low calorie. So Heinz is 10 calories, no sugar added for two tablespoons. G Hughes is five. Now regular Heinz ketchup, I looked it up, two tablespoons is 20 calories. So really it's only a one to two ratio right there. You're really only doubling the amount. So if you want regular ketchup, go for it. But what an easy fix to just save calories and to be able to have more. And I it swear to God, it tastes the same. There really is no difference. And so I go with the no sugar added. Barbecue sauce. Who doesn't love sweet baby Ray's, right? But now he even has a no sugar added barbecue sauce. Well, we're gonna do Sweet Baby Ray's versus G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue. All right, G. Hughes, 10 calories for two tablespoons, and it's two grams carbs. Are you ready for this? Sweet Baby Ray's, 17 grams carbs, 70 calories for two tablespoons. Think about that quick swap. You save 60 calories, you will get used to the flavor. Like anything, when you're making some changes, at first it's never gonna taste the same, but you slowly get used to it as you have it more often. But 60 calories for me, that's like subbing out and saving for mini chocolate chips on my protein blizzard. That to me is a no brainer. Like saving calories to have something else that I look forward to to stay on my plan is a win win. So that's a great option for a trade off for barbecue sauce. And then, this is similar teriyaki sauce, so if you're a big marinade person for stir fries or just your meat or veggies in general, this isn't that big of a difference. But normal teriyaki sauce, so we have this brand from the store, it's pretty good, 15 calories per one tablespoon. G Hughes teriyaki, 
is five. Is it that big of a savings? Not really, but across the day, saving an extra 10, 20, 30 calories here and there, it can really help out. So his teriyaki and orange ginger is so good. Nice little swap there. And then I wanna round it out with sugar. So refined sugar, which I eat. In fact, I eat it every single day. But two teaspoons of it is 40 calories or 10 grams carbs. I've just been using this monk fruit. It's like Lancanato sweetener, so it's erythritol, And this one is zero calories. So it tastes and it bakes and it cooks just like normal sugar and it is a great substitute to keep the calories down and it is my go-to for my Greek yogurt cheesecake. Three tablespoons of it and it saves so many calories across the board. So that's my carbohydrate for sugar substitute. So those are my main ones today. Those are some carbs that I know a lot of people eat. A lot of us are eating sauces and breads and pastas and sugars and chips. And so when I think healthy, I just think, how can I manage my total day with what I'm consuming to keep it in a healthy range for total consumption to keep me at a nice, lean, energetic self. And again, I'm looking at different items and what gives me energy and keeps my energy stable and helps with my digestion and helps me keep me full. And all of these options really help me out. So don't forget, share in the comments below, what are your go-to healthy swaps? How do you save calories on things, making it more available to have more calories throughout the day? Would love to know. All right, chat with you soon.